Hello and welcome back to Crafts of Note. This is my first video in a while, but it's my makes video for the month of June, which is all my fun favorite stuff. The month of June was hard for filming and putting out video. There was a lot of shipping issues and some other issues. For one, I was going to combine a Beware order with the Beware mystery box, but my main mystery box from Beware is still missing and has never arrived. So that got delayed for that. And then I was also going to film my thread crate box unboxing. And then thread crate box was just, I had all kinds of problems. I didn't get that until June 25th and today is July 5th. So then I was also going to be going on um, like a camping trip and stuff for my birthday and my partner's birthday. So I was gone for the majority of the last week doing birthday stuff and camping. So I had this mad dash right before the end of July to get things done. And I did a little bit at the beginning that I got a few things done as well. But mostly in the middle, I didn't do a lot. Um, Chucho, the cat that has appeared in some of my videos, he ended up having to be rushed to the emergency vet and we ended up discovering that he has kidney disease at only seven years old. So I just felt kind of bummed and didn't want to make a lot of things at that time. But I have done quite a few of my plans for this month and I am wearing one of them. This is Butterick 6729 and I did view B kind of hybridized with view A. And the only difference between the two is view A has no sleeves and then everything is finished with um, bias tape. So I did a combo of both. And these are sleeves, I love them. I think it's cool, it looks really good with the yellow bias tape and they're very fluffy. I think once they wash and the bias tape isn't quite so stiff, they might not fluff so much. But that's how they work is that they have a fitted sleeve and then the flounce attached. And then there is a waistband here. And this is made with a Telio Bloom cotton sateen. And then it fits pretty well. This is the size 22. I didn't make any changes to it. The only thing I'm having is there's some gaping on the back here. I would need to pull a couple darts out to make the neckline sit properly on me. I don't know if I'll do it to this dress or not because it has a facing and I'd have to undo a whole bunch. And my hair is so long that you can't see it anyway. <laughs> and then it has this waistband part here and then it kind of goes to like a fitted skirt with flounces which I will adjust the camera so you can see and I'll put some good pictures up while I show all these. Okay, so now you can see the whole dress and it has a double layer flounce in the, in the front. It looks like a wrap dress but it's actually not. And then I decided to finish the flounce with the yellow bias tape as well. And here it is from the back. And I knew this was going to fit a little tight here. So I ended up putting not an invisible zip and I kind of cheated on the zipper's uh, seam allowance part to give me a little extra room. And I put a normal navy zip in instead of an invisible zip just to give it a little more room. I didn't know how to edit the pattern to make the flounce correct with all of this so I said I decided to just give it a go and see what happened. I knew it would be tight but I don't care. I think I like it a lot and I think it's fun. It's pretty. I like how the flounce moves when you walk in it and that I think it works really good with this lemon print with the yellow bias tape. So yeah this is a relatively new pattern. I think it came out last summer from Butterick. And then a cool thing is Joanne's was having a sale 70% off their jewelry, so I got these cool lemon slice earrings for only um, $3 to wear with the dress. See if I can get close enough. I'll take one off so that you can see it. So, these neat lemon slices, they're very sparkly in the right light. Going along with the lemon print theme is I had talked about in my plans I was going to make a lemon bra and ended up being not very novel because I didn't get to post it until June and this is almost exactly what the uh, Bra Builders Kit of the Month is. So go me, I anticipated them. Uh, none of this is from Bra Builders, actually none of this. I got black findings from Beware, the cut and sew foam is from TaylorMade Shop, as well as the yellow uh, stretch mesh is from the TaylorMade Shop, and then I have it backed with regular uh, power mesh, power net. And then I used the lemon here and then I used sheer lining on the side so that you could see a little bit more of the lace. And this is the Black Beauty bra but without the power bar. And I just attached it with elastic up here instead. So 
I really like this. It fits pretty comfortably. I think this is one of my favorite bras ever, and I will give you a closer look. Here's a closer look at the bra, so you can see a little bit more detail. I really love how this came out. I think this is one of my favorite bras. And it's very summery, works perfect with my lemon dress that I just made as well. I like this Black Beauty without the uh, power bar too. It fits me fine, I don't really need the power bar. And I think it looks great. Another thing I made earlier in the month was this t-shirt. This is Simplicity 9273 with the pleated sleeve option. And you can see how it's pleated there. And it looks pretty good. I like it, it's comfortable. Next time I would shorten it a little, sorry, not shorten, long, lengthen it a little, because it barely covers if I move at all. And I'm tall, I'm five foot 10, so I would say if you're tall, you might want to lengthen it. It is meant to be a shorter rise shirt, but I, I like it longer. And then the pleated sleeves are pretty cool. It's a unique feature that you don't see as much, and I like that the armband, the arms, the sleeves are finished with an armband, and that looks good. And this is Teal Double Brush Poly from Joann's, from their Revival collection, and I have pictures of me wearing this that I will put up. But yeah, comfortable shirt, comfortable pattern, easy to sew. The pleats were a little annoying, but they look fine. I might even film some more of this um, with me wearing it. It's more like this dress is kind of hard to get in and out of. <laughs> I also, as I talked about, was gonna make some gifts for my partner's birthday, and I ended up doing that. So I got this really nice green knit fabric from a local fabric store called Design Company Fabrics in Salt Lake City. And I wanted to make a V-neck tee, and I was looking around for patterns, and I asked for some suggestions in the Kittenish Behavior Group and I got a couple, but I didn't really like any of them. This is actually the evergreen tee that's free from Green Style Creations. And this worked really well. It's a little bit looser fitting, so if you want a tighter fitting shirt, I would definitely go down a size from wherever they measure at. They measured it a large, the top is a little big, but I had tapered the sides down a little so that it wasn't so baggy. And I think that for a higher V-neck, a slightly rounded V-neck, it looks pretty good. This fabric gave me a miserable time doing the little zigzag stitch for the hemming. I have no idea why. Maybe my machine needs servicing or something because everything else worked fine, but it was a nightmare to do that part. But yeah, thought it came out pretty good. One of my most clean finished v-necks for sure. V-necks are harder than I thought to sew. And then the last thing that I made it was another birthday present and this is a leather working thing and I made a black leather belt for them and then this buckle is actually from um, Rocky Mountain Leather and it's a coated nickel free and then this black leather belt blank is actually from Tandy Leather and then I used Ritz of Tiger thread in black so you probably you can't really see it but um, came out pretty good Here's the other end where I stamped it. He's worn it and it works and it's comfortable, I think. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, he couldn't tell that I made it. He thought I bought it when he first opened it. So, you know, that's a good thing if you handmade it, right? I'll be making some more belts too because I had bought a bunch of um, Herman Oak belt blanks from Rocky Mountain Leather. So this is my first ever leather belt though. And I think it looks pretty good. Here's also a closer look at the belt. I mean, you've seen a belt, you've seen a belt, right? But I'm proud of it. <laughs> so I forgot to put it in my plans video, but I made a baby blanket for some friends of ours this month and I finished it. So I'm filming it early when I finished it because I'm going to mail it off to them. So this is that patch fabric from Joann's and then a matching flannel in this Camelot and dragon theme and I can open it up. It's like a standard baby blanket size. I did a self-binding quilt version of it. I wouldn't recommend that for this fabric because it's hard to make it line up properly. 
but it's fine. You know, it's not perfect, but it's for a baby and I think it will work just fine. And it looks, it looks nice, especially on the inside. It has a nice border. So the patch fabric has flannel and minky fabric, minky dot fabrics mixed together. So besides the blanket, I also made a few burp cloths. So I had extra flannel left over from the blanket and so there was enough to actually make two burp cloths. And I just kind of winged them and surged them right sides together, flipped it out, and then I top stitched it. So I have two of these ones. And then I made some hockey themed ones because both parents play hockey and they kind of did like a hockey themed pregnancy announcement with this flannel also from Joanne. So I made four hockey ones and then two of the Camelots. But yeah, I think the burp cloths are nice. Hopefully they like them. And I've actually never made them before. It was kind of fun. And they were very easy and quick to make. Well, that's everything I made for the month of June. Hopefully there will be a lot more videos in July. I certainly have a lot of stuff that I've bought to film or gotten for my birthday. Um, and I should be putting those up soon. And then I'll have some more features of different makes this month and my plans coming up. But thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.